What's up, YouTube? And what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero. And if you thought the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon were not going to be different than the originals, you are mistaken. Over the last two days, we've gotten two trailers with all kinds of changes and stuff, and we're going to be talking about it in this video. In fact, we're going to jump straight into it. Now, I don't want to spend like too much time like I have the the first trailer here but I don't really want to like swipe through it because Nintendo doesn't tend to like that stuff also I'm not orange if you're anyway um but in the first trailer that we saw yesterday um, both of them were Japanese and you should definitely check both of them out but uh, it looks like the Ultra Beasts are going to be a really big focus in this new game um so we see like uh, like you can see this little screenshot right above my head. Uh, I don't remember his name. Is his name Nani? I don't remember his name. But Guzzlord appears down in front of him. We see Zerkatry doing some weird stuff. And, and I'm doing some weird stuff. And this whole video is weird stuff. But um, we see that. But the big thing is focused around Necrozma. Uh, so Necrozma is like stealing the light and like absorbing um, Solgaleo, Lunala. It shows Lily reaching out to try and save them and it just doesn't work. Um, and that's just kind of what we see in this first episode. We see a lot of clashing. We see them kind of fighting each other. Uh, and it just looks like Necrozma is a big jerk. And today that was kind of confirmed. So this is the official Pokemon website. Let's go ahead and go straight through it. We've already talked about all of this stuff. Now, here's where it gets new. In Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, you'll be able to ride on the backs of Solgaleo and Lunala to travel to an Ultra Wormhole, travel through an Ultra Wormhole, and reach the worlds that lie, the worlds that lie beyond. So if we look at this gallery, you can see you riding on uh, Solgaleo. You can see yourself riding on Lunala. This looks like a mini game type thing. I don't know if this is like every pathway through a wormhole. You go through this little game. I don't know if like, what you see in the picture or like uh, I don't know if these are separate wormholes like if you enter those you go to a different area or something like that it seemed like a mini game in the trailer I don't know that's just kind of what what I think of it um, but like these worlds like this is not like whose is this whose world is this so that's kind of this looks awesome like these are totally new areas that, that we're going to be traveling to. And we don't have any idea what it is. I'm super excited. Like, the, like this alone is, is just super exciting. Obviously, I don't think this is going to happen often. Uh, we have on this suit, which is from this new team. that I don't remember the name. It's like Depot, Ripcon, Recon. I don't remember. We'll, we'll talk about it here in a second. But it um, looks really, really cool. Let me go and zoom back on out. Uh, there are countless warp holes that lead to different worlds. Try exploring different worlds by passing through these warp holes. You can even go to the home worlds of the mysterious Ultra Beasts. So does that mean there will be worlds that aren't for Ultra Beasts? How many, so we, I guess we've heard that there are going to be 400 Pokemon or just over 400 Pokemon or something like that in the Pokedex. So um, I wonder how that's going to play. Now, by traveling through an Ultra Wormhole, you can, re you can reach Ultra Megalopolis. A world that has had its light stolen by Necrozma. Within this world, wrapped in darkness, a mysterious tower-like building shines with a brilliant light. Like, uh, let's see. Can I find a good... Hold on. Don't play. Don't you dare play. Okay, I'm scared. No! I just want to see it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at how cool this looks. Look at how cool this looks. It's so big. No, like, super scared about this. But, like, it has you walking around. I don't know. It looks really cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who didn't set the music to repeat? That was me. Okay, anyway. Um, so it looks really cool. Uh, this Ultra Megalopolis, and I'm sure this is going to be like where we confront these people. The Ultra Recon Squad. Now I remember their names. They look kind of silly, but um, the Ultra Recon Squad is a mysterious group that has come from a world that lies beyond an Ultra Wormhole. 
for what purpose have they come to the Alola region? So I wonder if they're going to be evil. I kind of bet they're going to be evil. But why would we be wearing their suit on Solgaleo if they were evil? I don't know. That's kind of what my brain says at the moment. So players will see the story told from somewhat different perspectives in each version with uh, Dulce and Zossi playing a central role in Ultra Sun and Celeria and Psycho taking that role in Ultra Moon. So if we look at this gallery, a uh, very low quality, uh, I guess we see those four there. So that's really cool. We have another new team. So there's Team Skull, there's Aether, and then there's this Ultra Recon. Ultra Recon is from a different world. So I bet Ultra Recon and Aether are going to fight because like, I feel like they would have con contradicting um, goals. I don't know. It could be really interesting. And then we saw another new Ultra Beast. We saw Ultra Beast Adhesive, which is a poison type and probably the cutest Pokemon that has been released in a while. Uh, so... Um, now, the cool thing in the second trailer today is we saw one of the Ultra Recon people throw this Pokemon out. So they're using Ultra Beasts, which is a total change from the post story or post game uh, where we would just capture them. That's super, super, super strange, super interesting. Um, QB Adhesive displays many emotions, it's said to be able to understand human speech. If it spends enough time together with them. Uh, shout out to Pokken, by the way. Anyway, um, their large heads are filled with venom. Fire this venom from the poisonous gallet. Poisonous needles on top. So that's what I was talking about. The Ultra Recon guys. He's like leaning over doing his thing. Look at how cute this thing is. Oh my goodness. Wild. Even more Ultra Beasts discovered. Uh, we know more than that. We know about um, Burst and we know about Assembly. Um... Who we've seen so i'm curious what happens if we click on this stuff is there anything new here is there anything new new here no it does not a lola region anything anything island challenge revisited we already know about all this stuff i feel like i'm missing a whole lot am i missing a whole lot let's go cool features I don't want to play any of the videos. Because then I'll get in trouble. But I feel I felt like I had a lot more to talk about. Ultra Recon Squad. UB Adhesive. He's called UB Sticky in Japan. Which is cool. But like, we get to fight the Ultra Beast in their home. That looks that just looks so cool. Uh what's here? Is this the second trailer? Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can do this without. So you like travel to the Ultra Beast's home. I've already kind of looked at this a bit. There's those guys. There's Burst. There's Assembly. Maybe that's it. Maybe that is everything. I don't know. I'm going to say that that's everything and we're going to go ahead and wrap up there. I definitely thought there was a whole lot more, but and of course I forgot something. As I said, I felt like I was forgetting something or maybe I'm about to say it. I don't know how I'm going to cut it up, but I was indeed forgetting something. We did get official uh, information about UB Burst and UB Assembly, so we can kind of talk through those right now. First up, UB Burst uh, called the Fireworks Pokemon. So it's a fire ghost type, which is pretty cool. 5 foot 11, this thing is super tall uh, considering what it is, but it only weighs 28 pounds. That's not very healthy. It says UB Burst tricks targets into letting their guard down as it draws near with its funny gait, swaying this, say, swaying this way and that way, then shocks them by blowing up its own head without warning. Before they can recover their senses, it steals their vitality, which is said to which it's said to use as a source of energy. I can't read. Head is made up of collection of curious sparks as it appears to have the wondrous ability to freely remove its head and make it explode. So, let's see what these pictures are like. Look at that thing. That thing is ugly. Anyway. Yubi's go-to move, Mind Blown. With this fire-type special move, the user sacrifices half of its maximum HP to deal damage. It seems par, it seems par for the user 
uh, it seems par for the course for just read it on your own which attacks others by blowing up its own head and despite its comical appearance this move packs some serious power so this thing takes off its head and it explodes that has to be like a and, it, and you lose half of your you sacrifice half your HP that has to like I mean it has to be an extremely powerful move it has to be extremely strong so uh, let me go back here because we were on this page, I was just going too fast and didn't even come down here. Let's go over here. QB Assembly is a rock steel type at 18 feet tall, 1800 pounds, still nowhere near the heaviest Pokemon. While UB Assembly may appear to be made up of stones stacked atop one another, apparently each stone is a separate, is in fact a separate life form, and this UB is made up of an assembly of these life forms. That's a little wild. I mean, you can see that because they all have eyes. Okay. When confronting another or when it feels particularly engaged, the eyes on each of the stones begins to glow red. Let's see what UB assembly. That's where he's glowing red. Okay, that's where they're glowing red. That's wild. That looks a little crazy. I don't want to know what's going on in there. All right. And then, lastly, I think, I know we talked about adhesive. Did we go through this? Yeah, we did. Cool. So then that's where we're going to wrap up. I'll go ahead and toss it over to the rest of the end of the video. Uh, let's just get back to this page where we can see that. And we'll wrap up the same place that we started. Again, I'm super hyped for these games. And I think if you were one of the ones that said that this game wasn't going to be different than the original Sun and Moon... I'm pretty sure the last two days has completely proven that the game comes out in about a month and a half and I bet we're going to start getting a whole lot more news. We had no idea that any of this stuff was going to come yesterday or today. Uh, in fact, I was working and found out about it on break. Um, but yeah, if you like, tell me in the comments what you're most hyped about. Tell me if I missed anything. Um, I'm not sure if I'll have really too much time to look into any more than I already have. So. Um, go ahead and hit the like button. Do subscribe if you're new because we're going to be back with a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch more um, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon videos. And of course, our LP will launch on launch day is our goal. Um, we'll see if I can manage to pull that off. Uh, but I certainly hope that you'll come back to check that out. And we'll see you in the next Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon video. But until then, have a blessed day.